so excited. Hello, wonderful people. How are you doing? Welcome back to yet another video. So, guys, I want to introduce to you to Zeke, our new dog. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> so it's not totally our dog. We are babysitting this dog. Uh, a few weeks ago, someone posted on Facebook that they were looking for someone to babysit their dog while well, they went abroad for like uh, five or six weeks or so. So I replied, he came over, and uh, we had an official getting to know each other. And now we have this beautiful dog that we are babysitting. Q, 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 Q. Let me, let me, let me put on my shoes. So basically the way it worked out, my wife and I, Delise, were looking to get a dog. But we could not really agree on a few things. First of all, back then we were planning for a wedding. And we definitely knew that it was going to be abroad somewhere. So we were not sure if we're going to take a dog now. We're now going to a yeah, so we, we, we were planning to have our wedding in like a few months, so it didn't, and we were sure that it was most definitely going to be abroad, so it did not make sense to get a dog and then leave it behind for a long time right after getting it. Second disagreement, my wife wanted a a grown-up dog, one that's vaccinated, that's trained, basically with no maintenance or low maintenance. I wanted actually the opposite. I wanted the puppy to train, to live with us, and that could grow with us, and also, uh, yeah, basically be with us for a very long time. Hey, sit, sit, sit. So that's why when I saw this Facebook post about this guy posting for looking for a dog babysitter, I was like, hey, that would be a great thing to do, right? To go and babysit the dog and see how that works. So after he came by, uh, the, second, the second time he came by, he came with his dog bed, dog food, and, and, and basically the, the, the cups that he drinks and eats from. And then we were left up with this dog. So now that I've had this dog, there are a few things that I've learned so far. Okay, come here. Number one. Rwandans are scared of dogs. I don't know why, but <laughs> as you can see, everywhere we go, uh, people jump out of the way as if the dog's gonna bite them. Luckily, this dog is really not interested in me human beings when I'm letting him out like this. But you can definitely tell when I'm letting him out who's the Rwandan and who's the foreigners, because most foreigners, they're not really faced, but the Rwandans, they jump away. Secondly, I've learned that, the, the, that this dog has a lot of strength. He keeps pulling me everywhere. And uh, I know it's not a good thing, but I don't think I can train him out of it within a month or so. But he's definitely excited, overly excited for everything. So that's that. Number three, I've learned that this dog can run. I've been with him for a few runs and every time when I come back, he is not tired. I am tired, actually. Um, so maybe I'll try to do some longer distances, see how that goes. But uh, this guy gets conditioned. Number four, this dog is very clingy. He loves attention, he loves people. Everywhere we go, 
uh, as soon as you give him some dog attention he, he's all over you twisting grasping anything yeah. so yeah i cannot say much about other dogs all i can say is this dog is very clingy and lastly the final thing that i have learned from this dog is that um uh, and the last thing that i've learned a dog is still a dog so when we when i was growing up in the netherlands i used to see a lot of mostly white people who would treat their dogs like human beings they have them in their rooms they'll kiss and cuddle them have have them lick their faces basically the way you would treat a child but my african is kind of kicked in once i had this dog and when we had him for our first night we had to make a difficult decision do we do we let him sleep in the house or outdoors because he was he was used to sleeping inside the house and i think the owner of this dog also said that he sometimes even lets him sleep in his room but i think my african has kicked in too hard and was like no no this dog cannot sit cannot come inside the house and luckily he's a very good boy he listens he he will test our boundaries but he will never enter the house and as soon as he enters the house we just give him the command out and then he's out um, but with, with, with that said though it was not easy the least thought it was it was it was not it was not nice to have the dog outside but i think she's got used to it now and i think the dog also has, has gotten used to it on all this is a very lovely dog very obedient dog um, what do you guys think shall we get a dog ourselves and let me know if you guys are living in africa in 2022 do you have your dog sleep inside the house or outside the house let me know thank you for watching guys and i'd like to see you all in the next video